Hi guys, so for today in this video, I will show you how I made this Shinobu Morita acrylic glass painting commission from Honey and Clover. Now these are the materials that I'll be using. First of all is this acrylic sheet that I bought from Shopee. It's very sturdy yet it's at an affordable price. I'll link it down below. Next is some acrylic paint. Any brand of acrylic paint will do. Mine is from Art Rangers and yeah. Next is some marker. Mine is from Pilot Super Extra Fine Black Marker from Shopee. And most important material you can forget is the brushes. You need some detailed and medium sized brushes. You also need to prepare some masking tape for holding your photo in place. And as you know me, I always recommend to use some paint pots to store my premixed paint so that I won't be wasting any. Also don't forget some alcohol, tissue, and toothpick for cleaning purposes. By the way, this is my reference. I shaded the highlights and shadows and that's all. Oh, I forgot to mention just a personal tip. You can recycle your old cloth for wiping your palette knife or your brushes to lessen the use of tissue and to being more sustainable. By the way, I don't have a footage of me outlining the whole thing since this is my second try and something like this happened earlier. Yeah. I was just gone for a second and the wind was so intense. And by the way, this is the colored copy of it. And now it's the part where I am painting the shadows of his neck. By the way, I don't intend this video to be a tutorial because I just want it to be like a walkthrough on how I paint um, because this video is not very detailed enough to be a tutorial. And I prepared four shades of green for the grass. And you know that I didn't fast forward everything here on this video since I just want it to be like chill, relax, like video, watching me paint like that. Since I find those kinds of videos relaxing and like satisfying because those are the types of videos that made me start recording how I paint yeah I will use this toothpick I found at home with alcohol to clean the edges of the outlines to make it more sharper and cleaner so going back to my recent topic earlier how I mentioned I like these kinds of videos like relaxed chill videos of someone painting because personally i like those kinds of videos it satisfies me it's so satisfying for me and it gives me the um, chill calm feeling so when i can't sleep at night it's my go-to video and next thing in the morning i had a good night's sleep and i'm left with the recent video i watched of someone painting because it helped me sleep and yeah i slept through a whole video of someone painting and also those kinds of videos are the ones that motivated me on starting my own channel on recording how i paint on making tiktok videos like those kinds of stuff like i'm already painting so why not record it as well like what they are doing and you know share it to others on this part i'm just cleaning the edges of the paint so that it's sharper cleaner you know um personally i haven't watched honey and clover yet so if any of my viewers are familiar with it or have already watched it, um, please do comment down below so that we can interact because I love interacting with my subscribers because I read every comment, every reaction, every suggestion like that. I really appreciate them too 
and I'm really thankful that you are letting me know your thoughts and opinions like that and I really appreciate it thank you so much Also, if anybody is wondering, I also have a Shopee account where I sell my past um, acrylic glass painting works such as Tommy, um, Mikey and Draken, and also Levi is for sale. You can find me at um, Hunnit Bay, double A, H U N N I T B A A E on Shopee and you can reach me out there. So I will stop talking for a moment since you also need to focus on my video and I'll be back. Thank you.